Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on application of differential calculus. In this video, we'll be looking at stationary points where we'll be determining whether it is a minimum or maximum point. So we now look at our problem. Find the stationary points on the curve y equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 36x plus 24 and state whether they are minimum or maximum points. So we start the solution of the problem. Um, we have the function y equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 36 plus 24. First, we find the first derivative. Then from there, we proceed. So the y dx is going to be 3 times 2 then we reduce the power by 1. So that's going to be 6x squared. This one also going to be minus 6x because 3 times 2 gives 6. Then we reduce this power by 1. Then here the power is reduced by 1, thereby eliminating this x. So we have it as minus 36. The derivative of 24 is 0. So this plus 24 is written as 0, which we don't need to write here. Then from here, we take it on. As stationary points, the y dx is always equal to 0, which means 6x squared minus 6x minus 36 is equal to 0. If we divide through by 6, we have x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. So by factorization, the factors are x minus 3 x plus 2 equals 0 from here x is equal to 3 and x is equal to negative 2 then we have the x coordinates of the stationary points we're going to find the y coordinates so we pick the first value of x when x is equal to 3 we are going to substitute x here so we are going to have y equal to 2 3 cubed minus 3, 3 squared, minus 36, 3 plus 24, and that gives negative 57. We pick the second value of x. When x is negative 2, the same way we substitute here, we have y equal to 2, negative 2 raised to the power 3, minus 3, negative 2 squared, minus 36 into negative 2 plus 24, and this gives 68. So which means the stationary points now are 3 comma negative 57 and uh, negative 2 comma 68 so these are the stationary points on the curve y equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 36x plus 24 we then go ahead to determine whether they are minimum or maximum points so to do that, we are going to find the second derivative of the function, starting from here. So the square y, the x squared, is going to be 12x minus 6. 6 times 2 gives 12, then reduce this by 1, we have 12x. 6 times 1, 6, reduce this by 1, we have 0, x raised to power 0 is 1. Then the derivative of this minus 36 is 0. So the second derivative of the function is 12x minus 6. Then we go ahead to substitute it in the values of x to determine whether it is a minimum point or maximum point. So we start with when x is equal to 3. So the square y, the x squared will be 12 into 3 minus 6. And this is uh, 36 minus 6 giving us um, 30, which is greater than 0. So it is greater than zero. Since it is greater than zero, which means this point here is at minimum point. So we now conclude there that therefore 3 comma negative 57 is a minimum point. The same way we pick when x is negative 2, the square y, the x squared will be 12 times negative 2 minus 6. This is going to give us negative 30, which is less than 0. Since it is less than 0, 
it means this point here is a maximum point. Therefore, negative 2,68 is a maximum point. So that's all for the solution of this problem. And this is where we are ending this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Until we come your way again, goodbye.